Yes, the president-elect coming out with a big announcement online just within the last uh, couple of minutes here this morning, tweeting that he will be holding a news conference in on December 15th here in New York City with his children to discuss the fact, he says, that I will be leaving my great business in total in order to fully focus on running the country in order to make America great again. He continues, while I am not mandated to do this under the law, I feel it is visually important as president to in no way have a conflict of interest with my various businesses. Hence, legal documents are being crafted, which take me completely out of business operations. The presidency is a far more important task. This comes as questions have lingered over how the president-elect plans to separate his business interests from the interests of the nation. It has been 126 days since his last formal news conference. All of it comes as he tries to sort out his cabinet, meeting with, as you mentioned, his former critic Mitt Romney, the two sharing a meal of state steak, scallops, and frog legs here in Manhattan. It's the ritzy restaurant rendezvous no one could have seen coming six months ago. The attacks then turning to compliments now. He did something I tried to do and was unsuccessful in accomplishing. He won the general election. Uh, and, uh, and he continues with a, a message of inclusion and bringing people together. Mitt Romney and Donald Trump joined by incoming chief of staff Reince Priebus at a three-star spot named after famous chef John George von Richten inside a hotel named after the president-elect. Call it a kind of second round interview for the secretary of state slot Trump still hasn't filled, but his cabinet is coming together. According to a top transition source, the president-elect has picked billionaire banker and his former campaign finance chair Steven Mnuchin as the next treasury secretary. For commerce, it's investor Wilbur Ross. And for transportation head, Elaine Chow, who served eight years as labor secretary under President George W. Bush and who's married to Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. I've heard rumors that there should be an outstanding appointment announced. Uh... <laughs> the president-elect now ready for a road trip. With NBC News learning from a source familiar with the plans, he'll head to Indianapolis tomorrow to try and make good on a campaign pledge to try to keep carrier air conditioning jobs from moving to Mexico. You think you're going to ship your stuff across the border for no tax, no nothing. You can forget it. The company now confirming it reached a deal with the new administration to keep nearly 1,000 jobs in Indiana. It's not clear yet what the incentives are or whether they'd be available to other U.S. businesses. After that, it's on to Cincinnati and the start of a thank you tour in states where Trump did well. The candidate who fed off the energy of campaign rallies, doing it again as president-elect. I love Cincinnati. Donald Trump tweeting about his trip, but it's another tweet that has him facing fallout in a flag-burning firestorm. Quote, nobody should be allowed to burn the American flag. If they do, there must be consequences, he writes. Perhaps loss of citizenship or year in jail. But burning the flags is considered a form of free speech under the First Amendment, upheld twice by the Supreme Court. And the suggestion of stripping citizenship, also unconstitutional. In this country, we have a long tradition of respecting unpleasant speech. I happen to support the Supreme Court's uh, decision on that matter. Also this morning, news of a rare public appearance by Donald Trump's former rival, Hillary Clinton. She appeared here in New York City at a UNICEF gala to introduce Katy Perry, the two joining each other on stage. Matt, Savannah. All right, Hallie Jackson. Hallie, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.